How is it going, viewers? Brad, continuing the walkthrough series of GTA San Andreas missions. In the previous video, Monster, CJ was contacted by a mysterious person and told to go out to a ranch where he would get further information. In this video, um, CJ is contacted by the same person and has to go on a mission with Cesar to steal a truck. So let's get on with this mission called Hijack. Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you up. Calm over. down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't nothing but a fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. Well, you think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Okay, I'm gonna talk over this because these this isn't the mission where I succeed. In fact, I'm gonna continue to talk over because this mission is extremely difficult to succeed at. And I had to cut this up from various recordings of this mission because it was difficult. And when I finally succeeded, um, well, the video was grainy and pixelated. Something went really wrong in the transmission to the television. And I can't describe it, but I had to basically start over again and redo the mission so that I could get a clear success of the mission. So with that said, and the fact that Mike Torino didn't die in the final flight of Mike Torino is very revealing and very interesting. And hopefully I linked to that video up in the upper right hand corner. If not, go to my channel and look at Torino's last flight. It's another good video. Now let's get to where I actually succeeded in the mission. Idiota! 
We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. As you can tell from the interaction between Caesar and CJ, they're just going to drive up. Caesar's going to jump onto the truck and hijack it. But it's not that easy. With the truck driving at a certain speed and traffic on the road, it also, the truck weaves and can knock Caesar and CJ away. And with the vehicles, if you get too close to the front of the truck, you get knocked over, and those vehicles get knocked in your way. The easiest way to get this done is to try and get stable and ahead of the truck slightly and let it come to you. And I'll show you how to do it in this limited time frame. What do you frame. think? I'm a Mexican jumping bean closer! Keep level, CJ! Keep level! As I stated before, the easiest way is to get slightly ahead of the truck once you've stabilized and let it come to you. The real irony here is you got to drive the truck back to the garage and that's pretty easy but this thing is not very maneuverable so continue on in the direction the truck was heading and its original destination is actually right on the right side and you get off the road or the highway and you bring the truck around to get back onto the highway and then get it to the garage where C where CJ can store the truck and this area is where the truck was supposed to originally go so you go around and you come up this road right here or actually just go across the grass sorry about that but then you get onto this road and you can then get on on this on-ramp right here and bring the truck back carefully to CJ's garage.
how that that is done. Time to institute a save and wait for a call from Torino for your next mission. What an asshole. And that is the setup for the next Torino mission, which means CJ has to go to the ranch again and start the next mission, which I will more than likely do a video about in the future, or probably the next posting. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you to like, subscribe, dislike, but hey, most importantly, subscribe, because the more subscribers I get, the more likely I can monetize. And if you like this type of video, you will get a uh, posting in your feed that, hey, I just put a new video up. So again, don't forget to subscribe. It costs you nothing. And thanks for stopping by.